guys, Sponge Murphy here. Uh, welcome to another Let's Paint the Mage model, part 2. Um, I've got a few bits more done on it, but first off, I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to do a quick review of the finished body. Because I can't remember if I showed all of it or not in the last video. So, um, now excuse the camera if it's a bit wobbly, because I've lost a quick release plate for my tripod, and until I find it or order a new one, I kind of have to do everything handheld. I do have a little small tripod, but the bigger one is just so much better. So, um, just have a look at the body. Hopefully, the light will be decent. Um, I think I pretty much showed all of it in the last video. I think I can't remember. I haven't looked at it back in a while. But uh, the gems are done. The inner blue, kind of in the middle there. I just highlighted that again just to brighten it up a little bit. Photoshop up a bit better there. Um, the little scrolls that I haven't, I haven't painted them yet. I only spotted them now actually. So they, that'll just be a quick two minute job. Should get them done quick enough. Uh, the blue robe, the bright blue on on the bottom of the robe. I just did that tonight as well because I wasn't sure what color to do that because it matches uh, the other part on the arm that I want to be shown that I got done tonight. So, so that's the body pretty much all done except for the little robe parts there. That I just noticed now. So um the body came out pretty decent, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the white, how it came out, so hopefully the rest of it will come out just as good. So um I got this done maybe two nights ago, I finished. This is the head. Yeah, so I kinda went with the same yellowy blonde hair that I went with the yellow on the arc. I started off with I'll find it now. Indian I think it's pronounced dark sun. I saw it anyway. It's the foundation paint. I started with that and then I built up to um golden yellow. And I did I kinda had it just right and then I tried to go a little bit extra with it and I messed it up so what I did is I put the the dark sun colour in it. Put the focus in and then I did a wash of Dark Elf Flesh, I think it's called. I have it here. Dark Elf Flesh, it really, really watered it down. And then just went over it again with the gold and yellow. One oh, the joys of not having a tripod. So, it, the hair came out pretty good. I would like to come out a little bit better. But I think with the Dark Elf Wash Flesh in it, it came out, I think it made it that little bit nicer. I didn't want it like pure yellowy blonde, I wanted like a bit of dark colour in it. I think that dark elf washes pretty much did the job, it's kind of nice how it came out like that. But um, I think I just focus on the face now. There you go, just a bit of metal around for the helmet and the, the red for the gem on top of it, and then just what was the new one oh, I got? Cadian flesh tone, that's it. And that stuff is really like watered down. I don't want to say weak, but like it, it, when it says layer, it really does mean layer. You have to do it a couple times, and it's really good like that. Cause I, I'd rather have to do that than to get it too thick. Ah, oh, there you go. So I kind of I went in it with a Agrax Earth Shade wash, and then just highlighted it again with the layer of the skin tone. So. I'm happy with how the hair came out and the face in general. I would like the hair to come out a little bit better, but for something that I haven't really practiced that much, the hair, I'm kind of happy with how it came out. So, just the head done anyway, I'm not going to glue it on yet. And this is what I've been working on tonight. This is the converted staff. If you remember, the top of that had a little round kind of ball magic thing on it. I don't know what it was, but I, I cut it off and I cut the top off the other, other one to give it like a flaming kind of staff. And then I stuck with the same blues. And see the little light blue in the gap in the elbow there? That's why I stuck with the light blue on the bottom of the rope to match that. Because on the proper model, I think it's yellowy gold looking. And I didn't want to do that, so I just stick, stuck with the other blue. The lighter blue. I think it's hot, turquoise, or ice blue. I have to look it up. Ice blue. That's it. Um, and I'm trying to go for like an ivory effect on the staff there in the middle of it so 
Det er bare en kokker her, det er som det blå her her, så vel. As you can see, so that has to be tidied up and sorted again. Then it's the metal along it. Most of these are just the first base coats, except for the, the kind of darker blue on it. That's finished for now. And then just the same color in the hand there, the flesh tone. And the red gem. I'm not going to do the fire thing yet. So I'm going to try and record it when I paint it, because hopefully that can turn out pretty cool if it's done right. I'll use it the same way I did the flames on the corpse card, so I got that done pretty well, so hopefully I might be able to do the same with this one. Um, yeah, so that's it for the arm. So um, there's the tree guys, or the tree bits together. After that, I think I'm going to go with the, on the other arm with the book, instead of two staffs. Well, that's what I'm thinking of for now anyway. And then... Um, and that's it then, I want to try and get this guy done pretty soon because I want to move on to some other, some other thing and take him way too long with this as I usually do anyway. So, and then just do the stones as well and the little bastard as well. Um, I was wanting to do like, like magic stones, give him like a glow effect, but I think I'm just going to stick with the normal ones. Um, or the normal kind of grey colour on it, so. So let me know what you guys think of the head. You think the blonde hair came out pretty decent? Um, with the arm, what do you guys think of the flame? kind of the flame and stuff that you want to call it and uh, hit the like button and leave a comment below so uh, thanks for watching sorry about the wobbly camera and the bad focusing <laughs> um, if I want to get my tripod sorted out that's just going to have to be like this for a while so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video